Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Richard and this is a little bit of everything. And yes, that is my cat drinking off the top of the lid there. <laughs> hey, so you may remember in a couple of videos ago, uh, I mentioned that I had a crack in the base of the big green egg. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to fix that crack utilizing some past aircraft mechanic experience that I have. So stay tuned, we'll get right to it. Looks like it's gonna rain. I better get in the house. Hey everybody, hope you can see me. Um, this uh, kind of dark out this evening. Um, so yeah, I'm getting ready to head down now and uh, work on that crack that I mentioned in the opening of the video. Um, <clears throat> when I get over there, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I actually noticed this crack early on in the, in the build, but um, I decided uh, to kind of wait and see what I could do far as fixing it. I did a lot of research on it and uh, it turns out uh, there really isn't a whole lot out there that people that have actually done this. So I'm going to show you what I've found um, <clears throat> as far as this crack is concerned and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix it, what I decided to do to remedy it and um, I mean I don't even know that this is going to work but um, we're going to give it a shot so uh, stay with me here just a second kind of hard to see so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to draw a line on here with this pencil kind of show you where this crack is at and how it is migrated along the bottom of this egg so what I've done here is in essence and you know if I when I inspected this, I'm not going to turn it over to show you because it's just too heavy and awkward, but um, if this crack hadn't gone all the way through, I wouldn't be worried about it, but it does. It penetrates all the way through because you can see the same crack on the other side. I'm not sure that it veers off in here. I don't know if this part of it is down on the inside. It feels like it stops right about here, but so my time in the aircraft as a mechanic um, when you have metal fatigue in an aircraft and you're doing your inspections and you find cracks, uh, obviously a lot shorter than this, but they teach you how to stop the crack is to, um, so the technique that I'm referring to is called a drill stop or crack arrest hole. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> but anyway, so basically what you do is, is you find where the crack has stopped progressing. And in this indication, it's right in this area right here. And I don't know how well this is showing up, but this area right here. And what you do is, is you drill a hole all the way through, which stops the crack at that point. And then what I'm going to do after I've drilled that hole is I have this, it's called furnace cement and fireplace mortar. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to take this tool and I'm going to attempt to drill or cut out a groove all along here using this this diamond tipped um, I guess these are um, rotary points so I've got a set of them and I'll show you what those are in a minute well I guess I can show you right now these are the ones that I bought and I got these at Harbor Freight and it's, it's a set like this that has a whole bunch of diamond tipped um, drill bits of all kinds of different sizes and shapes and what have you I chose this one that's uh, kind of got a, uh, a fluted end, and I'm going to try to attempt to cut a path into this so that I can uh, then fill that, fill the hole, and fill this crack all the way with this furnace and cement fireplace mortar. I'm going to cut this out here, and then I'm going to switch bits and go on the inside and cut it out using one of these... Um, one of these uh, other tipped bits. I'll show it to you in a minute. I'm going to attempt to cut a groove on the other side and fill all this with this fireplace cement and see if that doesn't work. Now again, I'm very nervous about doing this because I know vibrations are what causes cracks to continue. 
which is why I'm doing the drill stop. Um, I also purchased this, uh, it's a carbide tip masonry bit and it's, uh, it's made for like doing tile and um, it says right on here in the back that it's, uh, the, the bit itself is used, you know, limestone and brick and mortar and cinder and cement block, flagstone, marble, whatever. Anyway, so I'm going to use this to drill the hole. I got a kind of a, a quarter inch drill bit because I want to make the hole big enough so that I can get a uh, compound in there to fill it. So I'm going to get prepared here and I'll turn the camera back on and then you guys can watch as I drill the hole and cut out this groove and we'll see what happens. Wish me luck. So I've put this pointed drill bit. Uh, it doesn't have, it, it's actually a screwdriver head that I filed down. And I'm going to use that to try to make a spot here. I'm going to put a dimple in this so that my drill bit that I use to go through doesn't doesn't wobble all over the place. That should be enough. So I thought about putting a little bit of oil or something on this to help lubricate the hole, but I'm really concerned about what that would do to the surface area when I go to put this uh, cement in the hole. So I'm going to just take it really slow. I'm going to dial the drill bit back and uh, I'm just going to take it really slow and see how we do. So here we go. Okay, I'm about halfway through and I don't see any progression of the crack. It's not getting any wider, so we're going to continue. ever so slightly giving downward pressure on the bit. <clears throat> um, I, I'm not wanting to bust through so that I make this big mess when I come through, so I'm just trying to take it slow. We have penetrated the egg. We're all the way through. Okay. No big bust out. That went that went well. Okay, so that's step one. So step two is to try to open this crack up um, enough so that I can get uh, some of this this uh, mortar in there to seal up this hole. And I'm gonna do this on both sides. I'm not as worried about this side as I am the other side because I'm gonna have to reach down inside the egg to do it with a kind of an awkward, an awkward situation. But um, I did watch a video on this stuff and there was a, there's a video that I will link in the description where a guy had a drop one of these bases and cracked it in like five or six different pieces. And he used this stuff to, to put the egg back together. Now it didn't look very good once it was back together, but it basically he was just proving that you could use this and continue to use the egg. So anyway, I'm gonna try to go at a slower speed because um, I, again, I don't wanna vibrate this crack too much. So again, wish me luck.
Okay, so now that I have that done, I am going to go ahead and flip this over and attempt to do the inside. I don't know that I'm going to be able to film that because I have to use both hands. So um, I'll do my best to keep you uh, keep you abreast of how it's going. It's hot and humid out here, and we're supposed to get some storms tonight. So I'm trying to get this done. So there we have it. I th think I'm happy with the way that came out. I think you can see I've opened up that gap pretty wide from the hole where I did the stop drill all the way down to the lip. Now I'm gonna have to turn this over and repeat this same process going across here and then into the inside and, and then across all the way back to this hole and then once I've done that, then I will mix up some of this uh, mortar and I'll fill this hole and, um, and the gap and we'll hopefully be done. Hey everybody. So that ends today's video. I wasn't able to show you the crack on the inside where I had bored it out. Uh, I just ran out of light. But in the next video, when I apply the mortar, you'll be able to see uh, what I did on the inside. It matches what I did on the bottom. So. Um, with that, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something. And if you leave me a comment down in the comment section below, and if you have anything to ask or want to talk about, I'd be happy to, to engage with you there. So, and until then, I'm Richard. This is a little bit of everything. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I've got several more videos coming up to the conclusion of this. We're getting very, very close. I'm getting excited because I'd sure like to cook on that egg. So with that, thanks. Have a great day. See you soon.